Good afternoon. Uh, I am Debbie, and this is just a brief introduction. Um, this is an explanation of why I am doing a video series. I don't think I have any more wisdom than someone else. I don't think I know, um, you know, more things that are important to share than anyone else. I've been in Canaries about 10 years now, and you know, someone else who's been doing Canaries for a few years may know everything I know. Um, I do think I enjoy my Canaries as much as anyone else. Um, I think, you know, everyone enjoys their Canaries. I mean, Canary people are enthusiastic to the point of being fanatical about their birds. But um, I enjoy watching someone else's videos. I enjoy seeing someone else's bird room. I enjoy hearing about their birds, the ones that they are happy with, the ones they are having problems with. I enjoy finding out, you know, what they're feeding their birds and, and how their breeding season is going and, and what their favorite bird is. It is just so much fun talking about birds. Um, I am in Montana, in a very rural part of Montana, and, you know, there's no organized bird club or canary society around and it, um, I'm by myself so in this sense I am not by myself I am going to talk to you guys so uh, if you were here in person I would never shut up so I'm hoping to make these a very short you know uh, small conversation um, nothing too serious um, nothing too fancy you know I'm just in my bird room um, I do have a small bird room it uh, limits my number of cages. Um, hopefully, it helps me limit my numbers. Um, you know, if if I can stay in this bird room, um, it's more to my amount of time that I can spend, and it keeps my family happy. Um, they are very patient. You know, they allow me to put the birds first if I do that. So, but you know, outside chores. Uh, animal chores and, and ranch work leaves me with minimal time. Um, I, I spend about 45 minutes a day on average. Uh, usually it's a little less several days a week and a little more several days a week. So um, certain times of the year, you know, you're going to have to spend twice that. Um, so um, you could spend all day in here. Um, the birds would benefit and it would be very enjoyable and there would always be something to do. But um, I'm hoping to talk about the things that I am doing, the things that I maybe shouldn't have been doing, and some of the things I'm experimenting with and just some of my most enjoyable moments. <laughs> so if there's anything that you care to share, I encourage you to do so. Other than that, um, just wait and see what I say next. Goodbye. When I decided to get into Canaries again, I went to visit a, a fellow here in Montana, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Um, and I walked into his little trailer where he had his canaries at the time. And I mean, it's like, wow. Uh, he starts talking about this one is the mother to this one, and this one is the father, and these are brothers, and this is from this line. And, and he had white ones, and red ones, and bronze ones, and green ones, and variegated ones, and yellow ones, and ones with poofy hairdos. And you know, this one sang this way, and the next one over here sang differently. And, and uh, needless to say, I intended to come home with one or a pair, and I came home with multiple pairs. So um, he gave lots of great advice, um, was there to help if I needed it, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't have a huge amount of success because, um, you know, you have to work through some of these little kinks to figure things out. Um, our water was not good. and the young ones would die using our well water. Um, uh, they were in our living room 
which meant they had the same hours from month to year. They had no season. Uh, I'm very adamant now about providing seasons for my birds. So they have, you know, spring, summer, fall, and winter in the bird room the same as outside. Um, I have grown in number of birds and in breeds or types. And of course you have to experiment and you have to collect. Um, I think Bruce was a collector. And uh, I'm going to say maybe he was a canary hoarder. Uh, you know, it's everyone's a friend and he can't part with much. And I have admired that attitude and so I have done that to excess probably. You know, that, that's a fault. You know, you can't keep everyone that's cute and friendly and whatever. I guess that's where I am and we'll get started on my first installment soon. Goodbye.